year, I think I am going to hold off on like my Christmas wish list until Christmas Eve. So that way my wish list comes out the day before my what I got for Christmas. And then um and then it's almost like a comparison. <laughs> Day 22. We're on day 22. I can't believe we made it so far. Okay. So I did the coffee first. This is the Green Mountain Nantucket Blend Medium Roast. I tasted it without the foam and stuff. It's good. It's good. But it's so good with the foam and the cinnamon. Oh. And I finished the fat-free half and half, so I get to have all the foam I want. Mm. Okay, so it's already 7.50, and the vlog has been up since 7, so make sure you watch yesterday's Vlogmas. Hi, guys. So let's talk about my hair. Today is the next day, the 22nd, and it still looks pretty, like, soft and not oily and... So did it work? Possibly. Do I like how my scalp feels right now? Kind of. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our advent calendars besides the cheese one. The cheese one we'll do at lunchtime. It is so early. And because I already have the video up from yesterday, I've been lounging. Normally I'm like trying to edit and everything, but already let's go ahead and reach in grab the next one this is door 11 we have one left oh my god wait did i get two in one day how is that possible that we have one left shouldn't this be i guess 11 12 did i not calculate that right i guess i didn't oh man i just said i'm 13 oops okay so here's this one here oh these are so cute these are little christmas trees oh my god these might be my favorite ones of all this whole box. Christmas trees. Oh. The equal tools 11 and 12 are left. The question I have, and I want to know if you have the same question, let me know down below. Are both of these attachments and brushes? Because they should be. They definitely should be. I see it's an attachment. What kind of attachment? It's for the blue brush. Oh, it's like a liner brush. You see that? Okay. Okay. Next up, we have our um, Joyin advent calendar. This is the counting counting creatures. So we're on door number eleven, which is right here. My nail is so busted from opening these boxes. I haven't cut it off yet. A lot of white ones. Could it be something for Christmas? I don't think so. I should do research on what the thing was um, for yesterday's. And I can't find what they're called, but I think there's only two Christmas block sets in here. So this has to be like an animal. Oh, ooh, I like this one. Okay, so this is the chicken. And these are the blocks. I'll go ahead and build it and I will put up a clip of it of what it looks like built. This is so cute. Five nights at Freddy's. If I don't get some more Christmas ones, I'm going to be kind of mad. mad. So we're on day number 22. Ooh. Okay. I can't tell what it is. It might be a marionette. Number 24 has to be that Christmas Freddy. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas Chica. And it's all, she's, Chica's all wrapped up like a present. Oh my gosh. They should have done a whole Christmas box. 
you guys every year i like to let you guys know the things that i got myself for christmas um last year i got myself boots and coats and sweaters and all this stuff this year not so much not so much um <coughs> got myself a cold <laughs> no um but so i thought i'd show you a couple of the little things that i got myself for christmas this year just to keep up the the tree right, so i do collect funko uh, my collection is mostly of ad icons so that's a lot of like the food themed ones um like for instance i have the fruity pebbles and the cocoa pebbles um barney and and Fred, and they're holding a bowl of cereal. I also have the box of the Fruity Pebbles, I believe. Um, but I also collect holiday ones. I love the Christmas ones. So, like, I have the holiday Peppermint Lane ones, and I have, um, like, for Valentine's Day, SO got me the Valentine's Chewbacca. Chewbacca's my favorite Star Wars character. So, um, and then for this year, I got one Funko Pop for myself, and it is the DC Superheroes, but it's Batman as Ebenezer, Ebenezer Scrooge. Look at this. Oh. And then, um, I also got myself one pair of socks these are from target so they were like a dollar fifty i believe um and they're just these christmas socks with uh, i think it's a cow in there and it's the red truck with the christmas tree with other christmas trees around i love 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 these it's like a little farmhousey christmas oh this is from brighton so Brighton is a company that I used to see a lot when I was younger and I always wanted like a purse from there or something but they do a lot of I don't want to say it's like western themed but they do a lot of like intricate leathers and intricate metal design and I always just wanted something like kind of youthful more youthful you know they also do lots of jewelry and a bunch of stuff so they have a brighton.com um but I did order this from eBay a while back um and so this is just a little crossbody. So it is like a like a burlap canvas. And then on the front, it just has like a Christmas bow. And it says love joy with all these different color hearts. On the back, it's a big heart with the same like ribbon design. And it says love and joy. And then it has this black like leather tassel. And then the tag. And then it is silver hardware. And when you open it, it just has the strap like this and then it has a heart canvas design inside i just thought this was so cute i could use it for christmas because it is their christmas holiday Alrighty, so it looks like this was a 2019 um holiday bag and it was at one point like during the black friday i believe for 2019 it was uh, you got this free with a hundred dollar purchase or it retailed for seventy dollars so it says now you can spread the love and joy for the holidays of the holiday season wherever you go with this pouch filled with colorful custom heart themed artwork by brighton's own renowned tom clancy it's sure to keep you in a joyous mood as you shop or spread the joy by giving it to someone else so this is just so cute so beautiful i did get it on ebay for jewelry i did get myself two things um this first one they're both from amazon this first one is a mem memoir memoir jew and it is 925 sterling silver. Oh, I thought I dropped it. And then when you open it, it comes with a cloth and a little felt box with the ring itself. So I wanted gold rings to wear on my left hand because I don't always wear my wedding ring out. And so this one is this like gold heart with the V. And so that's what it looks like on. But I also figure for the wedding, like the actual wedding um, or the big wedding, I could wear it on this hand. You know what I mean? So... I just think it's so pretty like it goes our last my last name i was born with the v last name and i got married into a v last name so and then for the same thing because i don't like to wear my wedding ring all the time um and i kind of leave it up by the sink and if i do wear it then i put it there at the sink and sometimes i don't remember to grab it from the sink if we're like in a rush or whatnot so i really got these to leave in the car but these are by silicone ring fit wedding rings and they are this set of gold wedding rings so my wedding band and wedding ring, engagement ring, is white gold. So this is what it looks like. I just thought it was so cute just to have like for the days that we're just doing some running around and things like that. And you know, I could just put this on and then this one is for when I wanna wear gold. Alrighty, the rest of the things that I got myself are just some like beauty items, skincare, um, I think a couple of makeup 
one makeup thing but mostly skincare let's start with the makeup items so the thing i love most about the holidays is their gift sets so um majority of stores do gift sets and so i always try to pick up one at least so this one here is the maybelline new york limited edition mascara gift set it looks like you get a lash sensation mini um falsies lash lift mini and a lash sensation sensational sky high mini and i just thought i think i have this one but i wanted to try the sky high one so i get to try three in one and this was 9.99 at target they all right guys let's take a look at these ones so this is the sky high i know this is like a viral um mascara let's take a look Ooh, so that's what that one looks like i heard amazing things about i mean this one especially this one is good i do have or had this one i believe let's see or maybe i have the other one i don't know but that's what that so that one's like a curved wand and then this falsies lash lift i don't think i've seen anything about it for myself but um oh my god the bristles are purple and i was like i know this is not a purple mascara but no so this one is like a hourglass figure wand okay okay um so i really missed a toner in my daily skincare routine so i got this one from amazon this is the bioderma hydro hydro bio tonique and it looks like this so um the one that i used prior to this was the it was like a rose one i'll try to insert a clip to find it because i know what it looks like i just don't know the name of it and then i also picked up this one to try because i heard such good things about it it's the pixie skin treats vitamin c tonic and this is vitamin c and ferulic acid brightening toner so i heard this one like really moisturizes and makes your skin glow so i did get this one and then um also I did pick up this here. So this is just Neutrogena Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection Sunscreen Spray, SPF 50. And then um, a couple of the other things that I, the last couple of things that I picked up. Um, this set from Target as well. This is the Spa Life Intensive Repair Foot Mask. So we all need a foot mask, especially in winter. And this you just slip onto your feet, you leave it on for a little bit, and then you take them off. The last bits are um, lip items. So this is also from Spa Life. This is a perfect pout hydrating lip jelly with collagen, rose hip, and vitamin E. And you get a set of three and this was $5. And it looks just like this. Another little gift set that I got from Target was this Hello Kitty Soft Lips, but it is the Christmas one. <sighs> Okay, I have an obsession with Hello Kitty, and we all know this, and Soft Lips is a great lip balm, and it comes in the um, flavors or scents, Vanilla Chai, Frosted Cranberry, and Sugar Cookie. Okay, this first one is Soft Lips Sugar Cookie. Just, it smells like vanilla, like the vanilla frosting on a sugar cookie. Oh no, it doesn't go down. Oh no. Okay, this one is Frosted Cranberry. Hmm, we're just gonna put it up just a little. Mm, that smells so good. Okay, that one went down. <laughs> Alrighty, last but not least is the vanilla chai. Mmm, that one smells so good. And then the last two things are just like holiday releases that I like to try, but they are lip balms from Burt's Bees. This first one is a maple or vanilla maple. It's not a lot of vanilla. There we go. Oh, that smells so good. This one, the last thing that I got myself for Christmas is another lip balm from Burt's Bees. It is the shortbread cookie one, and it looks like this in the packaging. Ooh, that really does smell like shortbread. Ooh, that smells so good. Alrighty, guys, you have seen everything that I've gotten myself for Christmas this year. Um, so on the 24th, you will hear what has been on my wish list. And on the 25th, hopefully early because um, we are gonna open our gifts at like four, four in the morning because SO has work, but he gets to work from home that day. So thank the Lord. Alrighty, guys, just so you can see like a couple of my bungos. This is like half my collection. I he's gonna fit there. Have to go right here next to the trees um so this is like half of my collection here um so i do do a lot of the food ones you know but a lot of them are up in the condo and then like these are the food ones and then i have a couple of like holiday ones and then a couple of like exclusive characters oh my favorite thing for my daughter and my sister oh these two are so pretty 
Alrighty guys, I'm making myself some lunch, just a leftover steak sandwich, but I thought we could do the um, cheese calendar. And day number 22 is right here. Go ahead and see what we got. Oh, the Mediterranean Gouda. I do like this one. Alrighty guys, so here it is. Oh, my leftover sandwich with the chopped steak. And then I have some Pringles, the Mediterranean cheese, and a Coke Zero. Why does Coke Zero taste so bad now? Like, now more delicious? No. No, 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 no. The old one was so good. It's actually the thing that had me switch from regular soda to diet soda. And now this is not good. It doesn't taste like Coke anymore. I don't know what it tastes like, but it tastes too heavy on the syrup. Same thing with the cherry one. I really did try with the Coke Zero, but it is so gross like i can't even drink it um so i made myself a little like milk tea um unsweetened brewed black tea with some splenda and then a splash of cream and a splash of sweet cream here um organizing the gifts so over there we have so stuff these are some that have to go under the other tree these are all for our neighbors and then our pajamas are right there by my shoes so i've just been doing that i gotta put the ornaments on the presents for the neighbors and then we're good it is time to cook dinner we're gonna make um white rice in our instapot and some chicken breast and then the veggies that i'm gonna put in are baby corn and water chestnuts and then my seasonings will be soy sauce sesame oil this is the chili garlic paste or chili paste, um, my, one of my favorite things, and then rice vinegar. Mm. The chicken's pretty soft and tender. Mm. We just got back from the grocery store and I thought I'd do a little haul to close out today's vlog miss. So I got I still got some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies. And then we got um, hamburger meat for spaghetti. And then we got these two steaks for one day for dinner. And then, oh, we got this meat as well. So this is like a pot roast beef stew kit. So this just comes with the beef and the vegetables and then I think a season packet and you just put it in the slow cooker. All right, then for breads, we got, yeah, so we got uh, white bread for sandwiches and then everything bagels for my breakfast. Also for my breakfast, um, fully cooked bacon. It's the most convenient thing in the world and I love it. Um, we got butter, I want to get one free. So we got two, this is the Land O'Lakes with olive oil and sea salt. That's Esso's favorite butter. Um, let's see what else. Here we got, oh, right here. Uh, whipped cream cheese for my bagels. And then some half and half, full fat half and half, so it'll foam up. Cheese, shredded Mexican blend cheese, and then Swiss cheese. And let's see, I picked up this guy's look. It's the Cinnabon um, classic cinnamon roll. So when I finish the K cups over there, hopefully there's a moment once I can have this. Yeah. Then it was some broccoli and a spring mix um, vegetables. So this is broccoli, uh, yellow squash, green beans, onions, carrots, and diced red pepper. Doesn't that sound good? Really good. 
Alrighty, and then we got um, Wesley some wet food. We only have a small pack because she does have like multiple packs inside the her presents and her stocking. And then I got no sugar added dice pairs. I can't believe it took me so long to realize, but these are really good on carbohydrates. Like one cup of these is eight grams, well technically seven grams of carbs, no extra sugar, no added sugar. And then the peaches, same thing, only six grams of carbs, so good. And then we got some olive oil and some Thai jasmine rice. And then the last thing are cereal. I still got honey nut Cheerios and I got frosted mini wheats. And that's everything we got from the grocery store. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna call the vlog here. I was gonna try to edit tonight, but um, to be honest, I'm having a little bit of fibro, and um, yeah. So I got my pancakes, I got the blocks to put together, and I will edit in the morning and see you in the morning for day number 23. I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas so, so much. I think I got myself a bunch of like cute little things, you know, especially that skincare. Yes, yeah, so I love you guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe while you're here. And I will see you in the morning for day number 23. Alrighty, ta-ta, bye-bye.